know, people of the internet. Um, welcome back. This video is going to be about what the difference is between um, hearing aids and cochlear implants because um, I have both and um, a lot of people I know have kind of wondered about it. So yes. Um, so first let's start off with hearing aids. Um, hearing aids, what they do is they make sounds louder. Um, it's just got a microphone on and a battery and it makes sounds louder. Um, there are different types. I have a behind the ear hearing aid, which is the kind of most standard type, but there are lots of different sorts. Um, the one that I have um, is a high powered hearing aid. So it uses a bigger battery than a lot of other hearing aids. So um, my one just has a battery compartment and you close it and it turns on. Um, it has a tube and an ear mould and I can change the tube and an ear mould. Um, well, I don't change the ear mould but it's, it's custom made to my ear and you can change it if you needed to. Um, I have put a like twisty silver thing on it to make it a bit jazzy and like a zebra print sticker because why not? Um, the other types of hearing aids that you'll commonly see are um, a receiver in, in the canal type which looks very similar to behind the ear. You have a thing behind your ear, it's a little bit smaller than what I've got. Mine's quite large because it's a high powered one. Um, and then you have a thinner wire going into your ear rather than a tube. And then you either have an ear mould on it or you would have what looks like the end of like an earbud, like a headphone. <laughs> end sort of thing like a rubbery sort of tip and that goes in your ear and that allows you to hear. Um, there's also a type which is completely in the ear so you don't have a piece behind your ear which can be good if um, for example you wear glasses and don't want something behind your ear. Um, I do wear glasses but it's not that's not an option for me because I'm too deaf so this is the only type I can have I can have. Um, hearing aids, what they do is they just amplify sounds, make it all louder, which is good. It works for a lot of people. For me, personally, I'm kind of too deaf for it to work very well. So even when the sound is really loud, I still can't hear it properly. Also, because it has to be really loud, um, there's more feedback. So feedback is when the sound gets out around the ear mould and goes back into the microphone so it whistles. Like for example, um, let me see if I can make it do it if I pull the ear mould out a bit, which will... You might be able to hear that. It like whistles, um, which is not great. And now I've got a cochlear implant, I can hear the whistling from the other side. Um, before I had the implant, I couldn't hear the whistling. Um, everyone else around me could hear it but I couldn't which um, is kind of embarrassing because a lot of people people don't know because obviously you can't see that I've got hearing aids. A lot of people just don't know and um, they're like what's that noise and then someone around me has to go oh it's it's her um, which you know it's kind of embarrassing. Um, on the other hand a proper implant um, doesn't rely on your remaining hearing. Like a hearing aid relies on you having some remaining hearing, um, which obviously some deaf people don't have. Um, I have a tiny bit, but not really enough. So a cochlear implant, what it does is you have a surgically implanted um, electrode array and um, receiver um, I will put a picture of my x-ray up here so you can see what is actually in my head. That is me, that is what is in my head. And um, how it works is you have, you wear a thing on externally um, on your head with a magnet and I have the type that goes behind your ear and then has a wire up to your head. There's also another type where it's a little bit of a kind of larger pod thing and it sticks on your head. Um, I'll put a picture of that type up on screen, why not? Um, 
and yeah the way it works is I've got a zebra print on this too um, because why not might as well be a bit jazzy um, so it's not actually using my ear um, I have no sound actually going into my ear I don't even have an ear mold or anything on it some people um, have a system where they still do receive sound through their ear that's called like an electroacoustic thing um, I don't have that because I'm I've got the wrong type of hearing loss for that um, that's more if you can hear low frequencies but can't hear high frequencies they can use kind of a cochlear implant for the high frequencies and use your residual hearing for the low frequencies um, I have very little hearing at all frequencies so that wasn't an option for me but that is a thing that some people have also some people just put an ear mold on on it just to help them hold onto their ear better that's also a thing so I have microphones on the top I have a wire and this bit in the middle is a magnet and this bit is the coil that receives the sound. Um, I have a skull behind my ear and where they put in the magnet and the internal part. It's a surgery. You can watch a video about my surgery if you want. Um, there's a battery that you can just remove. Different brands have a different battery system. Some, like the Cochlear one just twists on and off. I think the Medel has like a battery and then like a case over the battery. Um, it just depends on what brand you have. Um, and Cochlear implants are great because they don't rely on you having any residual hearing. So they work um, a lot better for people like me who um, are too deaf for hearing aids. Um, they don't allow you to receive an actual sound. They don't produce a sound. So um, for my uncle that was asking me if he could have a go listening to my cochlear implant, no, you can't because you need the internal part. There's no sound coming off of it. Um, it just works on electrical impulses and you need the internal bit to receive the electrical impulses. Um, all I, as much, the only thing I can do is let you feel where the implant is in my head and I can give people a go on my hearing aids if they want but that's it. Um, the cochlear implant also, um, the way it works is I have 22 electrodes in my inner ear and each of those corresponds to a different frequency so I can only hear those specific 22 frequencies of sound which means sound sounds quite robotic and doesn't have the same quality as natural sound um, however it does allow me to understand a lot more speech than I can with a hearing aid so that's a big plus um, yeah um, some people well then you might ask like why don't all deaf people just have hearing aids there are a lot um, d just have cochlear implants there are a lot of reasons um, you might some people might be able to hear well enough with hearing aids that they don't feel like they need it. Um, also, cost is a major factor. A cochlear implant costs around £40,000, um, including the surgery and everything, and each and the processor is worth about £9,000. Cochlear implants, however, um, hearing aids, however, um, cost closer to like £2,000. So it's much more, I mean, it's still expensive, but it's... If cost is a factor, you might only be able to get hearing aids. That's why I've only got one cochlear implant because the National Health Service in the UK for adults will only pay for one cochlear implant. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get another one, if they'll make an exception for me, but who knows. Uh, yeah, also another reason someone might not want to get a cochlear implant is that they don't want, they're not fit enough to have surgery. Um, it is a general anaesthetic and some people just aren't healthy enough to have a general anaesthetic for whatever reason and therefore surgery isn't an option. Also, some people just don't think they need it. Like if you've been if you've been deaf your whole life and you're 50, what do you need a cochlear? You've lived your like you you've got your life as it is. So you might just not fancy going through a whole surgery just to be able to hear if you don't feel like you need to, which is fair enough. Um, some people kind of morally object to them, 
but I think that's a minority of people. Yeah, uh, I think that covers everything. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas and um, or your preferred winter celebration. Um, yeah, I will see you all soon.